Hey there guys, <clears throat> this is Jesse with Permavit. Hey, this is kind of an impromptu video. Uh, sorry about all the bad lighting and stuff like that. Um, so I just got a package in the mail on a Kickstarter, a Kickstarter item that I invested in back in November and they got overwhelmed with interest and I think I paid a little under 200 bucks or right around 200 bucks with shipping um, based, I, based in China somewhere anyways. It's a upgrade to my, well here, I'll show you, hold on a second. So I have dyslexia and really like to read books, but I am a extraordinarily slow reader with a high comprehension. And so anyways, I ended up getting years ago here, I'm gonna see if I can get it in the shot here. But as you can see, Intel Reader. Um, it was made, I think, back in 2005. Uh, the guy who did it is also dyslexic, dyslexic and uh, awesome guy. He's got a good book if you get a chance to uh, read it or listen to it. Um, anyways, so back to this. So this company, I don't remember the name of the company. Uh, or maybe I do, I don't know. Anyways, so I got this thing in the mail. It finally showed up. It's called a... Let's see if you can read that. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm assuming Caesar, um, but whatever. And then <clears throat> here it is right here. It is pretty freaking awesome. It's got uh, detachable side lights. It's for glare on a book on glossy pages. It's got um, pretty elegant Nice design. I still got the foil on it. Um, it's got a decent camera, decent LED setup. Um, push button for switch, so no push and hold. Switches to lamp mode. Does a pretty good job just lighting the area up. You can see it's got a little light there. Push it again and uh, turn the light off. I think you can I haven't used it yet I'm just playing with it it's got a dimmer on the light so anyways and then you can switch it to camera mode if you you know put these on there and stuff so it comes with a um, software and some finger tabs to hold the uh, papers down and then it's it's got a foot switch so you can actually hold the the book flat and then use your foot to take the picture it's supposed to be able to scan a page in like two seconds you know I think they're saying somewhere between like one and a half and three seconds a page um, it'll automatically scan it to PDF and um, Word format I believe and then it's got OCR software built in to recognize it as text versus an image um, my Intel reader would do the same thing but it would also convert it to audio so it's a machine voice but I have a program called Balboca um, and uh, uh, if I remember I'll put the link in the diddly do um, for Balboca, but it's a, I think it's a Russian program. But anyways, it means like babbler or talker or chat, chatterbox in Russian. But anyways, it'll convert single document. I have messed around with a ton, but single document text files into spoken language. And then it uses the, the Windows driver audio software for the voice. Anyways, pretty cool. I have a lot of eBooks that if I don't have, um, like uh, the Kindle app to read it. Um, I have to visually read it and that just takes forever. Um, I read about 50 books a year, 45, 50 books a year, depending on the year, depending on the books. But most of them are historical reference and conspiracy and sci-fi fantasy, uh, but not as much of the sci-fi fantasy. It's just kind of, you need a break from reality. And sometimes a, a good break is way far from reality. But anyways, um, so, anyways, I have a, I have a 
reasonable collection of paper books um, that it's taken me years to get through. Some of them are ginormous. And um, anyways, this should speed it up. I am pretty, pretty excited about that. Been wanting something that's efficient. Anyways, the Intel reader was pretty slow. Um, to convert like a four or five hundred page book would take me like four hours or more, and then it would it would take a, a lot of um, processing power after that. You know, so y you could I think scan about forty pages before you max out like the cache that it can store, and then it's got to convert all those to um, text and audio, and that's not including mistakes or anything. Um, and that so forty pages would take you maybe. 10, 15 minutes to scan in and then another 40 minutes to process, you know? So, eh, that can't be right. Anyways, it, it would take quite a while. And this one's supposed to be able to scan and process them in, like I said, one to two, or one to three seconds a page, um, which is freaking amazing. And, um, and apparently their OCR software is supposed to be pretty good as well. So, anyways, um, normally I'd be working today Sorry, hopefully I look tired, but I'm kind of tired. Got a bit of insomnia and um, getting ready to go to the gym. I started working out again, thanks to my wife. She started going, I had to go with her. And then uh, I got my 40 hours in early yesterday, so a couple of long days and I get Friday off. Yay, Friday off, yay, or well, whatever. Um, so anyways, it's gonna be super nice out today. I'm gonna to try to get a little bit of gardening work done and some stuff around the house. So I just wanted to bring you a quick video. I know I haven't been super regular with it and stuff, but I do have some stuff coming up. It's just a matter of, how do they put it? I don't know, motivation, uh, whatever. Anyways, this is kind of getting to be a long video and I'm just rambling now, so. Um, I am going to probably make a video sometime in the future of this thing working as well as I got some gardening stuff coming up. Um, I'm behind on getting my seeds started so I'm going to try to get that going and um, I'll get you some more videos coming here soon. Alright, bye guys. Thanks. Like, share, subscribe, all that diddly do. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my previous videos and just thanks in general. <laughs>